Hi everyone. It is late. It is almost 8 o'clock in the evening. But I promised that I'd do a, a pour. So that's what I'm going to do. First I want to show you all the sponsors of July 2017. And you can just put the, uh, the, the video on pause if you want to see them. And the other one, there you go. So thank you all for sponsoring me this month. Makes me very happy. I'm gonna do a, a four cup flip. I haven't done one in a long time. So here I have the canvas. And I have all my paints mixed. But I've only got the paint mix. There's no silicone in here yet. And I got some bubbles, I see. Because I had to get all the rest of the paint out of it, one of those jars, which was almost empty. So I got a little bit of bubbles going on, but well, we'll see. Now I'm going to add the, um, the dimethicone to the white. And the cups are pretty full, so I'm going to be putting in like, ooh, I'd say four or five drops. And maybe in one of the transparent blues, just a little bit. So that's it. And there we are going to put it in there. So here we go. Um, what I just did for um, all the uh, Dutch and Belgium uh, people that watch my uh, videos, I know that a lot of you, um, I've been getting a lot of emails asking me to, um, to do some uh, videos in Dutch. And um, in Belgium, most of the Belgian people, they know how to, uh, they know Dutch. So I thought I'd make a new Facebook group, the Facebook group. All you have to do is search for Acrylic Pouring Basics, and then it's uh, the capital NL and a dash, and then capital BE for Belgium. And um, I think my uh, brother-in-law, uh, his German is pretty good. He's going to make a German site. So then um, he'll be able to translate some of the things I do, because, um, you know, I know that it's, for some, for most people uh, in in Holland, uh, English isn't such a big deal, but it's more the uh, younger generation, and because um, the people that watch my videos, the most are like uh, older than 65. That is the mo because I can see that in the analytics of my uh, YouTube channel. So the, most people are um, like between 60 and 70. And um, I can understand that, that they don't really follow that English as well as they'd like to. So that's why I thought, you know, my sister can help there. She, she, her English isn't as well as mine uh, or as good as mine. And so she can uh, go over there and she can do more stuff on that uh, Facebook group. She knows how I pour. She, she talks to me a lot about it. So she can help a lot of people out. So... If you're Dutch uh, or Belgium, from Belgium, you can just go and find it on Facebook. You just, um, just like you're um, uh, uh, find it, going to find a person, you just put in Acrylic Pouring Basics NL slash your little slash BE. And I will put it under this video. So for all the people that are interested, look under this video more information and it will have the link and you can click it and it'll take you directly to the group. So it, I'm sure it's not going to be a real big group, maybe a couple of uh, hundred people, but you know, for people who don't understand all this English lingo, well, I hope you have something that you can fall back on, right? Okie dokie. So I need, a, I need my little wooden thing. Oh, there it is. Because this is, um, you know, where I put my uh, cups on and where I turn it. So 
we'll put that in the middle for now. Put our four cups on. And we're going to start filling. Now, I'm going to start off with some white. But I think I'll, this is the uh, titanium white. Yeah. Oh, that's stupid. I put silicone in, in both whites. I was going to save one for the, um, the negative space thing. That is pretty stupid doopy. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not allowed to say so I'm stupid anymore. <laughs> so stupid doopy. <laughs> okay. Then, uh, of course, my favorite color. Gee, what would that be? That would be turquoise. Yep. That's turquoise. Then I love this green. I just mixed it. It is um, all Winsor & Newton. And the funny thing is that I still had um, some of my own pouring medium. And it's going to be funny how this is going to turn out because it's been there for, well, I think at least uh, three weeks or something like that. It's been sitting in the jar. It didn't separate. That's good. You don't want it separating. Well, maybe a little, and then when you shake it, it has to be, it has to go right back to its uh, original form. So that's that. Then some darker turquoise. Just a little bit, not too much. Because I want to have it in each cup. There it is. Then in we come with some more white. Oh, I've got to check if I'm recording. Sometimes I forget to uh, I forget to check. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's doing its thing. Okay, some more um, colors blue. Because this is, of course, one of those um, ocean things. Oops, I spilled some on the canvas, and I usually don't want to do that. Because if that's the uh, negative space bit, it might come through, so I'll clean it off in a bit. But what I do, I always pour it from up very high, so it mixes in there. That's what I'm going for. That's that one. And then we come in with the last color. That's it. And I hope I have a little bit more of the green. I'd like a little bit more green in there. Yep, we do. And I do need a little bit more of the white. I can't help it. We do. I might have to make some more. Nah, that'll be enough. Okay. Now. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I always do get a little anxious about the, uh, about turning it around. So let's put it with a nice little space in the middle. Like that. Get the big canvas up, putting it on top. Let's see. Yep. Here we go, real fast. One, two, three. Yep, there we go. Woo. So we got all the four cups ready. I kind of like this. Let's see if we. 
put it a little bit more wider than we normally did. Let's put that one there. That might look really good. So, putting some white there. And I want some down here. Last time when I did this, I had a lot more white. But I'm going to try to do something with a palette knife. So as you can see, I'm smoothing it out a little bit because I don't want it too thick. Just like that. But we don't want any contamination. No colors in the white. That looks kind of cute. Putting it a little bit down here. Oops, I got blue in it. Okay, that's about as far as we'll go then. Okay, now we're going to pull it. Pull it. That is pretty. This one is pretty. That's pretty much empty. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh oh, no, I'm gonna really give it a big swirl. Letting it come down here, over the corner, yep. Let it go down here, over the corner. Now down here. That's good. And I want it down over that corner. There we go. Wow, that is pretty. I love it. Okay. I'm going to clean off my hands and get my torch. Wow, I love it. I'm just going to torch right here along this where it's white just for a bit like that. That looks really pretty. Wow, but I want this to be, let's get it, just some warmth. I'm holding it up high about, this time about mm, seven, seven to eight inches. And I'm just really watching really closely if uh, cells are forming and then I'm just moving it away. And the same is going to happen over here. And I'm going to do the sides a little bit because I, you know how I love it when the cells are on the sides. So we're gonna give it a little, a little heat. And this I wanna keep like that. I don't want no cells here. I, I don't want cells there. There's a slight little bit of cells here. I think this is about it. And it's a lot darker than I usually do, but I kinda like that. Now, I saw that I had some 
canvas peeking out here. Normally I do this with a brush, but this time I, oh wow, there are so many cells popping. I'm going to turn it around a little bit, see if I've got it all covered. Yes, I do. Now, wow. There are some uh, close-ups. Uh, I'll give you close-ups, but they, they are some amazing cells. Uh, let's turn this around again. Because this is how I think it should hang on the wall. And I'm looking to see if I want to do anything extra to it. I, I kind of like this, how it's going. Now I'm going to leave it. Let's leave it like this. Okay. I'm going to get you guys down. There we go. Beautiful cells. Really, really beautiful. And it is big, right? <laughs> it's pretty big. See, this is sort of... Um, I like this bit without the cells. And if you want, want to see beautiful cells, that those are beautiful cells. I just love them. Okay, guys. I just uh, really like the way um, the uh, the pouring medium works. This is um, my own batch, so uh, it really works well. Even if you have, um, you know, if you've had it stored for a couple of weeks, you see that it works. So that's kind of pretty. Let me take a step back. Yeah. Yep. That's it. I'm not going to torch anymore. This is beautiful. You can I can still see it working just a little bit over here. I see it working a little just a little bit. That is uh, stunning. I'm not going to be uh, putting any um, primary elements in it. This is sort of like some sort of a sea monster. See now you got me looking for creatures in my pores too. So um and I like this. I like that wispy stuff going on here. And there's another fish. <laughs> That's his uh, eye. And then you have, he has these, this long sort of a pointy snout. No, no, fish don't have snouts, do they? No, I don't think so. So um, I'm going to leave it like this. Um, I am going to leave it on this table to dry for a while. And when I go to bed tonight, I will move it. Did I have a lot of drop off? I don't even. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I will move it now because maybe I have a lot of drop off and I might want to do something with it. Yes, I do. Okay, let's have some fun. Let's see how many do I have. Ooh, too many. Ooh, now I've got them all covered in spots, but that doesn't matter. Let's do some fun stuff. Okay, let's see. I am going to pick it up and put it on here. This is a big Yupo. This is, uh, again, Yupo paper. It's the only paper I really use um, because I like that it doesn't warp, that it stays flat, no wrinkles. That's a lot of paint. 
but you know the really big ones you have to have uh, just a little bit more paint than you need because otherwise you don't get a good coverage of the uh, canvas because you'll always lose some because you have to let it go over the side whoops why didn't I stick that on the same wall I don't know Almost done. A little bit more. That's it. Now, do I have some more white? I hope so. Nope, it's not going to be coming out. And I wanted some green. Well, we'll just smack it in the middle of the paint. Can't help it. We're going to be using every drop out of these cups. Okay, that's that one. And I wanted some more white. Light, 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 light colored turquoise. Yep, this is the color. Now, I'll take the other one, put it on top. Oops, my head is in the way, sorry. You didn't miss anything. And now we're going to pull them apart. If I can get my finger there. Here we go. Oh, I just knew I, I should have had a little bit more green. That's it. So this one, I would like to cover a few little holes because maybe you just need, you know, a little bit more coverage when making jewelry or something like that. But that is totally covered. That is covered. Just get some, a little bit in here. That's it. This isn't covered. Okay, I'll put this put this one away. You can see it up close. Now this one this one is stuck in the paint, so it's pretty wet. But I can uh, do something to the, uh, I can scrape it off. That is all white, only that bit isn't. There it is, all covered. And, um, I'll put it on the sink that it's, isn't too bad.
and then when the top dries I can just you know pull it off and turn it around and then back and dry so um, this is all we have left over we've used pretty much of everything so I'm taking off my gloves and I'm going to say um, for everyone that's watching have a really restful sleep and um, tomorrow Saturday do some artsy stuff have some fun get some uh, Zen time and um, I want to thank you all for watching and being so supportive oh I was gonna show the good thing I did that someone wanted to know how I, I video well see that wooden thing that is a, a sort of a, a structure my husband made and I can put my my iPad on top or on that second uh, bar you see when I do smaller smaller ones I just lower it a little bit and those three lights you see those are daylight lamps and that helps to give uh, you guys a good idea of the colors they they come out usually pretty well there's only a couple of times that I thought mm, it's not the same but uh, when I make pictures outside for Etsy I do that outside you get the good colors so um, that's the uh, the thing I uh, video. So I want to thank you all for watching. And I wish you uh, a beautiful evening if you have an evening left. And I'm signing off. And I will see you all tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Have fun.